Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kelly from Kelly Lee Creates, where I teach lettering and digital design tutorials. So today I have a fun tutorial for you uh, using Silhouette, and I'm gonna show you how to use glyphs in Silhouette Studio. Now, if you don't know what glyphs are, they are these extras that come with some fonts. You can call them extras or swirls or swashes, they are the fun little um, alternate characters that come with some script font. So a lot of people have trouble um, accessing these glyphs. They don't know where to find them in Silhouette Studio. Um, they don't know how to use them. If they do find them, they don't know how to um, get them onto the screen and as part of their word. So I am going to show you how to do all of that. But first, I need to let you know that in order to use glyphs in Silhouette Studio, you need to have the Designer Edition or above. The Basic Edition, um, this feature is not included in the Basic Edition. The Designer Edition is an upgrade. Uh, the Basic Edition is what you get uh, when you download the software. You get it for free. Um, the Designer Edition is a paid upgrade. So. You can only access the glyphs in Designer Edition and above. So if you're trying to do this in basic and it's not working, you may want to check your uh, edition to see which one you have. So that being said, uh, let's get started. So in order to access glyphs, first you have to be able, or first you have to download a font that has glyphs attached to it. These are script fonts and you have to download the OTF version. So when you download fonts, you can get the OTF version or the TTF version. If you want to use the glyphs that come with that font, you have to download the OTF version. Okay, so you download that version onto your computer and then when you open Silhouette Studio, all the fonts that are loaded onto your computer will become accessible in Silhouette Studio. The fonts are located over here in the text style panel over here. So if you just click on that, you can see all your fonts available right here. And everything that's listed here is what I have on my computer. So if it's on your computer, you can access it in Silhouette Studio. So in this textile panel, if you come up here, you can see the A right here for the fonts, but right next to it, you have a G. And if you click on that, or if you hover over that, if you hover over it, you'll see that it says glyphs right there. So this is where you find all the glyphs for the font that you're using. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a new canvas here so we have something clear to work with. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is type out your text or hit T and just type out your text. I'm going to use the word glyphs like I used in the previous uh, screen. And then I'm just going to click and drag to um, increase the size. Okay, now we have to change this to a font that actually has glyphs um, associated with it because this font doesn't. Um, the fonts that have glyphs associated with them are mainly uh, script fonts. So you come over here to your text style, text style panel and choose a script font. I am going to choose one that I know has glyphs associated with it which is this roll cake font right here. So this font right here is the same one that I used right here, but you can see that the L and the H um, on this canvas have the extra glyphs attached to it, and this one does not. This one is just plain. So I'm going to show you quickly how to access these glyphs and make this look like this. Okay, so you have your font all, or you have your text all typed out, and you're going to come over here to the glyphs um, menu right here and click on that. And you need to click on your word 
and then it will show you all the glyphs that are associated with this font. But you have to make sure that up here, uh, this drop down menu, you have to ch make sure your font is chosen. So I'm choosing, I'm using Roll Cake, and we're on the glyphs menu right here. So this is all the glyphs that are associated with this font. So I need to back up a little bit because when I said, when I say glyphs, what I mean are actually alternate glyphs, which are the characters that have the swashes and the extras and all the curly cues and all the fun stuff. In actual reality, every single letter is technically called a glyph, but these ones are the alternate glyphs. So I don't want you to get confused when I go over to this panel right here because every single um, every single letter option is listed in this text style panel in the glyph menu here. So what we want to do is if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, that's where all the extra fun stuff is. And then when you do that, look at all this fun stuff that pops up. So you have all these extra characters, extra glyphs, alternate glyphs with the swirlies and the swashes and all of this fun stuff. Okay, so now that you know how to find the alternate glyphs, how do we actually um, type with these alternate glyphs? So what you do is decide which glyph you want to use. I'm gonna use, I want to change the L and I wanna change the H. So I'm gonna go and scroll to find which L and which H I want to use. And, okay, so you can see right here, this is the L that I want to use right here. So I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna click right where I want to insert that L. And I'm gonna delete this L uh, that I have on the screen. And then I'm gonna come over here to the glyphs panel and I'm just gonna click on that L. And you can see it replaced it right there. So I'm gonna do the same thing for this H. Um, I'm gonna just choose this one right here. It's a little bit different than the one I used on the previous screen, but you just, uh, put your cursor right in front of uh, the letter and delete the letter that you have and then just click on the one that you want in the glyphs panel right there. So that is about it. That is how you access the glyphs and alternate glyphs and that is how you um, replace your um, letters with the alternate glyphs. Now, just make sure that if you're going to cut this out, you need to weld these letters together because if you see here with script fonts, if you want to cut this out, these are not connected right here. So all you do is click on your text and come over here to the, the modify panel right here. And then this uh, button right here, just click weld. And then it makes it so it is all one piece and it will cut out all as one. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you have a little bit un better understanding of how to use alternate glyphs in Silhouette Studio. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. And if you want more Silhouette Studio tutorials, visit my blog at kellyleecreates.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.